Hi, I'm Chef Paul, and today we are going to learn how to cook one of my favorite dishes, which is quail. Quail is, it's got a little bit of a game flavor to it, so similar to chicken, but just a little bit of that gaminess. Quail usually has the rib cage and everything inside of it. It comes a full bird. We've removed those, so the only thing that's left in here is leg bones and wing bones. One of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to fold those wings back underneath. Gives it a little bit of presentation. And this way they don't cook to the breast or the skin or anything along those lines. So what we're doing today is I have made up a rub for the quail. And it is sage, rosemary, garlic, onion, and bacon. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that in between the meat and the skin. We're going to seize it up. We're going to pan fry them off and then just finish them up in the oven real quick and then we're going to serve up some nice little uh, mini sweet peppers on the side. So with the quail, the best way to get underneath that skin is with a small spoon. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a small spoon, as small as you can find, and you just want to get between the skin and the meat. Sometimes it's not as easy, other times it is. And you're just going to get in there and separate it just a little bit. And you'll do the same thing on the back side, just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rub. And just put it in where we just made our little space. And then again on the back side. And that is how we rub up our quail. So what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna take just a little bit of the rub and rub it along the outside. Not a tremendous amount, just enough to get some of that flavor on there. Okay, and then from there we will go ahead and season it up and get it in the pan. So after we've hit it with a little bit of rub, we're just gonna do a little bit of salt. Not a lot, because remember there's bacon in there. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of granulated onion. A little bit of granulated garlic. You can't cook without onion and garlic. That's the reason that I cook. Flip them over, rub like there. Do the same thing on the other side. We're going to let those sit just for a minute while we go ahead and cut up our vegetables. So what I'm using here today is they're just little mini sweet peppers. Nothing special, you can find them in your neighborhood grocery store or the produce section, um, but they are pretty tasty with a nice little bit of sweetness to them. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use these in two applications. I'm going to use the one as the primary vegetable and I'm going to use them two as the garnish. So for my garnish, all I'm going to do is cut a few little rings of each color. And we're going to save those off to the side. And then for our actual vegetable for the plate, we're going to cut them just a little bit differently. So what we're going to do here, one of the best ways to get the pitch and the seeds out of your peppers is to use a spoon and you can just run it along the pith and it comes right out. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these into nice little strips for cooking. Um, I don't want them to be too small. I want just kind of the right size. So. Just about like that. And then we're gonna cut up just a little bit of white onion as well.
and we'll also just cut those into strips. We're not going to use nearly as much of that as we would our peppers. One of these will do just fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is I put a little bit of clarified butter into my pan, made sure that it's nice and hot. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my quail in there just to sear it off real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and throw that in the oven. So after we've gotten a nice sear, we'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing on the back side. And then once that's done, make sure to turn off your heat. And all we're going to do is just transfer them to a pan. And we'll put them in the oven to finish up. Okay, so now we're gonna start our vegetables. So again, I've thrown a little bit of clarified butter into the pan and got it nice and hot. And all we're gonna do here with this is we're gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of garlic, our onion. And we're gonna sweat these off for just a second, just to get some of that flavor out. And then we'll go ahead and add in both of our peppers, our little rings, as well as our long cuts. A little bit of salt and pepper. And turn that heat down. We're not trying to char them quite yet, we're just trying to soften them up. And then we'll add in just a little bit of our herb and bacon mixture give it just a little bit of flavor to tie it all in. I'm gonna let them cook up just a little bit till they get nice, soft, and tender. Okay, so we've pulled our quail out from the oven and we've let them rest up just a little bit. So now what we're gonna do to plate this is we're gonna pull our Disc cuts to the side, and we are going to go ahead and plate our vegetables first. And then we'll go ahead and place our quail. And then we're going to take little cuts that we made and just kind of use them as garnish on top. And then the leftover butter that we use to cook our quail in, we'll just drizzle over. Just a little bit of garnish and seared quail and sweet summer peppers. Thanks for joining us here at Woodland Terrace and we'll see you again later. Bye-bye.